It is reasonably early, I think it's just past eight. And we're gonna have some breakfast and set off for a little morning cruise. Cause it's such a beautiful morning, but I think it might rain later. Is your mother? Bye. Mother? Bye. Getting ready to move to our next spot because we've been here for 12 Two. days. So we're just going to pop this bread into the oven so we have something to eat at lunch. Mummy! <laughs> Mummy! We've got my mate. Not really sure what's going on, but this boat is about to crash into I thought, us. I thought it was this time and now, but I was about to get ready to like push him away. Yeah, it literally like it was about to just smash into our window. Our grubby window. Oh my gosh. It's huge. I don't even know what this is. Why is it on a canal? <laughs> You were getting ready to push him away. I was getting ready to say goodbye to our windows. Also, this massive crack happened when... Nyla stabbed it with a spatula. She just got excited. It's yes. best to... Um, it's birthday. Not actually. <laughs> That's an awful thing to say. Oh, we don't have to put it in there. I'll we'll just edit it out. We can just edit it out. That's a beauty of life. <laughs> Moment of truth. Critical test. It is 20 to 11 and we were hoping to move a little bit earlier around 9 but it's okay we've made some bread this morning which is now just cooling down and we had a little rummage through our things to try and find Nyla's life jacket but amongst finding her life jacket we also found loads of stuff that we don't want anymore or need anymore so now we're having a quick little sort out and then we'll be moving. Svea has already escaped three times but we managed to get her back. She's not happy. Hmm? She's not happy. Look at that grumpy face, come on. Gosh, Matt, that is, that is terrible. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh, but, oh my gosh. Okay. There's a day boat coming up behind, but I think you'll be all right. Louis taking himself for a walk. Esme and Isla have gone in for their nap. I don't think Esme naps, just Nyla. 
and I'm just finding a new place to moor. We had to move today because we stayed for long enough in our spot we just left. But we have a delivery to collect and it's not coming in till Friday, so that's slightly awkward. So we're gonna move backwards for a couple of days. And then when the delivery comes, you're gonna move back through, pick it up, and then move on to a place called Honey Street, which is quite a nice spot for boaters, apparently. We've never moored there before. Last time we passed through, we just kept going. shaped window isn't it? Looks like he's had a bit of a bump. A bit of a bump. A bit of a bump. At the moment we're in what's called the long pound so that means there's no locks for... How long do you actually know how long the stretch Someone said 40 miles but I need to check on that, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah it doesn't feel like 40 miles but there's no locks for a long time and there's no swing bridges or anything like that. Where we've come from there's just been so many locks and it's a lot of work, like locks are a lot of work. So much extra work. It is and it can get stressful with a toddler so it's so nice to have a break from that. She doesn't really have naps that often anymore, but she's been really tired today, so she's sleeping. I'm just gonna go and pop out to Matt and see what he fancies for lunch. I might just make some toast because this fresh loaf is pretty much like gonna be good, even without butter. Are you ready to go out? We're nearly there. So we're just turning around here so that we can reverse up here a bit and more there so that we can hopefully see all of this because I'm not sure if it got it on film but like Matt was saying you don't often get a view when like from the boat because you're so low down in the canal that you can't see what's beyond and it's nice to see what's beyond. Beached, trying to moor up, and it's just it's so hard. I hate this wild mooring. When you find the park mooring, and you realize like no one's moored there. This is about as far as we can get, or as close as we can get. Matt's taking the boat for a walk. I think we'll be able to get in. It's frustrating not being able to moor up easily anywhere on the KA. I think we've made it. Matt's, I'm just throwing him the pins and he's just pinning in the middle rope so that we can try and figure everything else out. Nyla's still asleep, so that's really amazing. It's so hard to do this when you have a toddler in your arms. There are just things with boat life that are really challenging and difficult and it can get really stressful at times and it's, I guess, just how you manage it in that moment. Like there are two choices. You can either freak out and just get really panicked and stressed or you can just take a deep breath and think, okay, this is the situation that we're in. There's nothing that we can necessarily do to change it that much right now. And that's okay. Like what is, is okay. It's always hard to like choose that option when you're in that moment of like stress and frustration, but you can do it. So that's what we chose this time. Whereas like there've been many times before where we've been in a similar stressful situation, trying to more up and it's difficult and whatever and then you choose to go into that stress or well, not choose to but you just sort of end up in that stressed place but there are choices in every moment on how you can react to certain situations and it's just giving yourself that space to think okay I have a choice to how I'm gonna choose to react right now it's practice and patience with yourself Turns out. <laughs> it's got 
got such long legs and limbs that he can just step onto the boat. So it's half one and we're both so hungry so I think once we've moored up we're gonna go and have some lunch. <laughs> it is what it is baby. So because there is a turning point here you have to be 15 meters away from I guess where the sign is like the middle point of the turning point. So Matt's just checking that we are away from it, like far enough. This is the longest plank we have and it's just about holding on. So it's just started to rain a little bit so we're getting everything inside. But I'm gonna go and see if it's fair is around to let her go outside. Go on then. <laughs> She's gone. Bye Spare. See ya. Yeah. So I fed my sourdough earlier and it is like crazy happy so I just figured that we'd make some more bread and this bread that we just made is like maybe the best loaf of bread that we've ever made but the worst thing about this is that when I was making it yesterday and weighing everything out our scales died on me and then our smaller scales couldn't take the bowl like the bowl was too heavy so I just sort of did it by eye, which is fine, but now I have no idea like what the recipe was, no idea what the numbers were or anything like that, so. You just have to do it by eye again and weigh it. Yeah. And then write down those weights, Yeah. see what the bread comes out with and see how close you got and make an adjustment. Yeah, she's outside. So it's now half two, we've just finished having lunch and the rain has just started so we never finished putting the pins in because we were just so hungry so now Matt's just finishing that off. Oh, so cute. Wow. I got Nyla a present. No. No. Are you serious? Same one for me. Sixteen geese, four ducks, in a swan. Geese. Geese. Yeah. Geese. And that's a swan. Swan.
trying to make a coffee and the boat's going past. to head out to go to a farm shop or in hopes of finding a farm shop. I think it's supposed to be a 40 minute walk. So we're gonna take the push chair and the bike and Louis. <laughs> and I think it's got a petting farm there as well, which will be so nice for Nina to go and see the animals. No kidding. <laughs> Rainproof. Grey skies, but it's there. It's somewhere. Let's try and. Yeah, the humidity is, I'm guessing, close to 90s. pig is giving her a little massage. <laughs> Should I get your raincoat?
That's the noise they make. The sun's trying to come out and it stopped raining for now anyway. These pigs are so cute. I can't even, I literally can't handle it. I've never seen anything so cute in my life. And I've got a toddler, you know. <laughs> Although Nyla is definitely cuter than pigs, but oh my gosh. There's a little dove in with the pigs. So finishing off our pizza, Mile is asleep. It's not raining, which is a miracle because it has been for so long. That's it for this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks to everyone who bought us a coffee this week. It really does help us out. And thanks to everyone who likes and subscribes and comments. We really appreciate your support. Join us for next week's video. And if you haven't already seen our other videos, then go ahead and watch them.